Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own legit anti-knockback hacks for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So first, you're going to want to start Minecraft and then start Cheat Engine. Attach Cheat Engine to Minecraft. Then go into a single player world with cheats enabled. And now we're going to want to scan for our velocity. An easy way to do that is to find your Y level first. So right now I'm at 5. So I'm going to scan for 5. You can check your coordinates in the top left if you have show coordinates enabled. And I'm going to hop down to 4 and scan for 4. And I'm going to come down here and scan for 3. And now we're going to want to try each of these. Uh, and I'm going to freeze some of these at a time until I can't really jump properly anymore. So I'm going to try these. I can still jump normally, so it's not any of these. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to try this one. I can still jump. It's not this one. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to try this one. I can still jump, so it's not this one. I'm going to try this one. I'm gonna... I can still jump, so it has to be the last one. I'm going to try it just to be safe. And I can't really jump normally. It just kind of teleports me back down, so I know it's this one. After you find out that it's this one, press Control b Come here, press Control 9 to change the display type to float. And now we're going to want to find our Y velocity. So I'm going to start jumping up and down, and uh, the Y velocity is the one that's slightly below zero when I'm on the ground, and if you're going up, it's going to be positive, if you're going down, it's going to be negative. So I'm going to start jumping, and uh, watch the red values, and uh, those are the ones that change. And I can tell that this one is the Y velocity. So I'm going to add that to the address list, and I'm going to come here, press F6, press yes. And now there's going to be something that writes to it every time you take knockback. So I took knockback and this thing popped up once I took knockback. I'm going to do it again. And yeah, it pops up every time you take knockback. So I can press stop, show this assembler. And if you scroll up a little bit here, you'll see that this is actually a function. And if you want to just not take any knockback at all, you can just make the function return as soon as it gets called, so you can come down here. And with this enabled, you will not take any knockback at all. But if you want to make it look a bit more legit and take some knockback, but not all of the knockback, um, you can come here. And basically, this script will take whatever velocity this function is setting it to, and it will multiply uh, the x, y, and z by a horizontal and vertical multiplier. So you can take either more or less knockback, but if you do set it to zero, it won't make you take zero knockback. It'll just set your velocity to zero, if that makes any sense. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do in this script is make our settings. So I'm going to label h and label v. You can name these anything you want, by the way. Uh, h is just horizontal, v is just vertical. And I'm going to make my symbol. Okay, once you've made your symbols, uh, copy those, come down here, and make sure you unregister them at the uh, disable section of the script. And come under the jump and h, and we're going to want to make a default setting. I'm going to make it float, 0.85, and do the same for v. For v, I'm going to make it 1. So basically, whenever I take horizontal knockback, it'll multiply the horizontal knockback by 0.85, and for vertical, it'll multiply it by 1, which just does nothing. So I'm going to come up here to new mem. I'm going to push the value of rx, then move the value of xmm0 into rax, and then now we have to actually uh, modify the knockback. So here, rdx is pointing to a vector 3, and that determines what our velocity is going to be set to. And we want to modify that vector 3 before uh, the function actually like really executes. So if we come here, we can move the value of rdx into xmm0, and now we multiply xmm0 by our horizontal multiplier. And now we move this back into rdx. And 
then once that's done, we just copy and paste this a bunch of times. Actually, only two times, but yeah. Uh, after that's done, we have to change each part of it so it works for x, y, and z. So this part's for x, this part's for y, and this part's for z. And the reason why these offsets are needed is because uh, RDX itself uh, it's just pointing to the base of the vector 3, but the first part of it is the x, and if we offset 4, since the size of a float is 4 uh, bytes, it will go to the y, and then the one right after that is the z, so if you offset another 4, which becomes 8, you'll get to the z. And the last thing you're going to want to do is change this from h to v, since the y is uh, the thing that needs to be multiplied by v, which is our vertical multiplier. And once that's done, we're going to want to move xmm0 back to its original value, which we stored in uh, rax at the beginning. And now we want to pop rax. And once you are done with that, you can go ahead and assign that to your cheat table. Enable this. And add h and v as floats. And drag them under here name these H and V and you can right click on here and hide children when deactivated so once you deactivate this it won't show those and I can rename this to velocity and once you check this these will pop up and you can change these to anything you want I didn't mean to click that and if you take knockback you will take the amount that you put here. If I change horizontal to zero, I will take zero uh, horizontal knockback if I'm not moving. If I change this to zero as well, I will, uh, my velocity will get set to zero every time I take knockback. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video. I hope you had fun. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.